China's media, Huawei is able to independently develop and produce high-performance smartphones. Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. As I was browsing through China's media for a fresh perspective on China's tech development for our next episode, I came across an article linked to Baidu. The article stated that Huawei is able to independently develop and produce high-performance smartphones. This raised a question in my mind. Is it true that Huawei can produce high-performance smartphones without tools or machines from the West? The source argues that Huawei's new Mate 60 Pro represents a breakthrough in Chinese technology. We all know that news about Huawei's new phone has made the U.S. uncomfortable and led them to question their actions towards China over the years. In this episode, I will try to elaborate on whether China's Huawei can produce high-performance smartphones without Western tools or machines. Mate 60 Pro High Performance Smartphones The Huawei Mate 60 Pro is indeed a high-performance smartphone. Here are some key specifications that highlight its performance. Display, it has a 6.8-inch LTPO OLED display with a resolution of 1260 by 2720 pixels. This provides a high-quality visual experience for users. Processor, the phone is powered by the high silicon Kirin 9000S chipset. This chipset is built on a 7 nanometers process technology, which offers high performance and energy efficiency. Memory and storage. The Mate 60 Pro comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and offers storage options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one terabyte. This allows for smooth multitasking and ample storage for apps, photos, and videos. Battery. It has a large 5,000 milliamp hours battery which should provide long-lasting battery life for all-day use. Camera The phone features a triple camera setup with a 50MP main sensor, a 48MP periscope telephoto sensor, and a 12MP ultrawide sensor superscript one. This allows for high-quality photos and videos in various lighting conditions. These specifications make the Huawei Mate 60 Pro a high-performance smartphone that can handle demanding tasks and provide a smooth user experience. Let's put this into perspective by comparing it with the latest iPhone, which is considered the gold standard. According to Versus.com, the new iPhone 15 Pro has an overall score of 88, while the Mate 60 Pro has a score of 69. In terms of performance or CPU comparison, there is a slight difference between the two phones. So, the Mate 60 Pro isn't that high performance if compared to Apple iPhone 15 Pro, but from China's perspective this phone is their pride. The recent buzz in the semiconductor industry among the Chinese community has been nothing short of exhilarating, with the Huawei Mate 60 Pro mobile phone at the forefront. As stated by the president of Xi'an Jiaodong University during the opening ceremony, this device is not merely a symbol of encouragement for the Chinese people, but represents a significant breakthrough for Huawei. Despite facing sanctions, Huawei has managed to reinvent itself and continues to pioneer in its field. As a Chinese company, Huawei's ability to independently develop and produce high-performance smartphones and achieve global leadership in key technological areas such as chip design and system development is truly commendable. It has stimulated the interest of a large number of bloggers and research institutions at home and abroad. The disassembly video released by the digital blogger T3000 also shows that the Huawei Mate 60 Pro chip has the high silicon pinion logo and the CN logo manufactured in Chinese mainland. Techinsai, a foreign authority, disassembled and confirmed that Huawei Mate 60 Pro uses SMIC N plus 27 nanometers chips. The Huawei Mate 60 Pro has piqued the curiosity of numerous bloggers and research institutions, both domestically and internationally. The teardown video released by the digital blogger T3000 reveals that the Huawei Mate 60 Pro chip bears the high silicon pinion logo and the CN logo, indicating it was manufactured in mainland China. Techinsai, a reputable foreign entity, has also confirmed through their own disassembly that the Huawei Mate 60 Pro utilizes SMIC N plus 27 nanometers chips. Western Chipmaking Machine in China's Semiconductor Most of the chips in China, including those from SMC, are made using technology from the West. Now, if we take a trip down memory lane, 
we'll find that China's semiconductor industry started way back in 1956 with the creation of the first transistor in a state lab. But things really started to heat up around 1965 when China created its first integrated circuit, I see. And that's how it all began. In recent years, China has made significant strides in the semiconductor industry. The Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMC, the largest chipmaker in China, reportedly advanced its technology to a quasi-7 nanometer NM process. This advancement is seen as a stepping stone for a true 7 nanometers process. Despite being included on the entity list by the U.S. Bureau of Industry and Security in December 2020, which was designed to limit SMIC's ability to reach advanced technology nodes of 10 nanometers or below, SMIC has been making progress. However, it's important to note that all chip fabrication in China today relies on machine tools imported from abroad, largely from the US, the Netherlands, and Japan. Despite these advancements, China remains far behind capabilities in the US, South Korea, or Taiwan in terms of fabricating chips. Currently, Chinese chip factories, including the big player SMC, have been getting their hands on some pretty advanced chip-making tools from this Dutch company called ASML. They've got the green light to keep shipping equipment to China all the way through 2023. But when the calendar flips to January 1, 2024, ASML won't be able to send its top-of-the-line DUV tools to China anymore. This is all because of some new export control rules in the Netherlands that kicked in on September 1, 2023. These rules say you need a license to send certain DUV systems to China. So, it looks like China has been hoarding ASML's chip-making machines before the deadline hits. The Kirin 9000's chip, which powers Huawei's new Mate 60 Pro smartphone, is quite an interesting piece of technology. It was made by China-based SMIC using its second-generation 7nm class process and stacking. However, some reports suggest that the chip was actually manufactured using SMIC's 14 nanometers process, but Huawei modified it to perform closer to a 7 nanometers part. The first die shot of the high silicon Kirin 9000 system on chip, SOC, reveals a monolithic die with a massive 5G modem, a huge image signal processor, ISP, a new neural processing unit, NPU, and custom CPU and GPU cores. The SOC is quite intricate with four high-performance Taishan V120 cores and two ARM Cortex-A510 energy-efficient cores. The chip also features a quad-cluster Maoyang 910 GPU, which reportedly operates at a maximum clock of 750 MHz. While the CPU and GPU cores take up a substantial portion of Kirin 9000S's die size, it is noteworthy that the SoC also packs a large 5G modem and a huge ISP to enable advanced imaging capabilities. As for your question about the use of ASML's DUV lithography equipment, it appears that SMC used existing deep ultraviolet DUV lithography equipment to make the chip. This kind of machinery costs millions of dollars to produce years to perfect, and is made by a Dutch firm, ASML. However, ASML is barred from selling China this equipment, forcing the latter to search for alternatives. Based on these facts, we can make an assumption that Huawei is unable to independently develop and produce high-performance smartphones without the use of chip-making machines. However, their phones are powerful enough to compete with current high-performance smartphones, even though Huawei and SMC don't have access to EUV machines for chip production. This suggests that China is becoming more creative and innovative. Thank you for watching my video on China Record. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Your support means a lot to me and encourages me to bring more new episodes. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a comment and share it with others. Stay tuned for more exciting content.